hey guys this is going to be an exciting one and we have to figure out the value of the sine of 18 and where we're going to start it is that we know that the sine of a is equal to cosine of 90 minus a and now we're going to play with the 18 that we have in here we know 18 times 2 is 36 and 18 times 3 is 54 and if we add these two together, we're going to get that 90, which is what we had in here. So we're going to use that. And basically what we know in here is that the sine of 36 is equal to cosine of 90 minus 36, which is 54. So here basically we have sine of 2 times 18 is equal to cosine of 3 times 18. Now we're going to let our x be 18. Uh, what we're looking for at the end is sine of x. So we have sine of 2x is equal to cosine of 3x. Now we're going to go to two important formulas that we need to keep in mind. And uh, one of them is that the sine of 2a is equal to 2 sine of a times cosine of a. And the other one is that cosine of 3a is equal to or cosine cube of a minus 3 cosine of a. So these two are real important in here. So in here, we're going to put instead of sine of 2x to sine of x times cosine of x. And on the right side, we have cosine of 3x, which will be 4 cosine cube of x minus 3 cosine of x so on the right side if we look at it we'll see that we can factor a cosine so left side is 2 sine of x cosine of x and on the right side we're going to factor a cosine of x which will be 4 cosine squared of x minus 3 and now we can cancel out the cosine of x on each side we don't need to put it equal to 0 because x in here is not a variable x in, x in here is 18 so we can cancel it out. So we'll end up with 2 sine of x is equal to 4 cosine squared of x minus 3. And another important formula, we know that sine squared of a plus cosine squared of a is equal to 1. So cosine squared of a is basically 1 minus sine squared of a. So... Uh, we're going to put that in here instead of cosine squared of x. So we have 2 sine of x is equal to 4 times 1 minus sine squared of x minus 3. Keep in mind in here we have to multiply 4 by 2 of these. So 2 sine of x is equal to 4 minus 4 sine squared of x minus 3. So 4 minus 3 is 1, and we're going to bring everything on the left side, so the signs will be switched. So 4 sine squared of x plus 2 sine of x minus 1 is equal to 0. So we have minus 4. If it goes on the left side, it will be positive, and we have positive 1. If it goes on the left side, it will be negative. Now we're going to let our sine of x be y. And what we are interested, as we talked about in the previous system, we are trying to figure out the sine of x. So if you find y in here, we're good to go. So what we're going to get is 4y squared plus 2y minus 1 is equal to 0. We have a simple quadratic equation. We're going to use the quadratic formula to find y minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4 a c over 2a our a is 4 our b is 2 and our c is minus 1 so we're just going to plug those into here minus 2 plus or minus square root of 2 squared 4 minus 4 times a times c divided by 2 times a 2 times 4 a and we have minus 2 plus or minus square root of 4 plus 16 is 20, so we can write it down as 4 times 5 divided by a. So our y in here will be minus 2 plus or minus 2 square root of 5. The 4 can get out of the square root. 
over a. So it sounds like we have two answers in here, but only one of these answers is acceptable for us. And that would be y is equal to minus 2 plus 2 square root of 5 divided by a. Let me know in the comment why the other answer is not acceptable. So basically our y in here is sine of 18, which is what we were looking for. Hope you guys enjoyed it. You guys take care. I'll see you in the next one.